uh, can you please tell me about yourself? Yeah, um, so my name is Elena Nichols. I'm a U.S. Paralympic Alpine ski racer training for the 2018 Games. Uh, Six-time medalist in the Paralympics and first female American to win gold in the summer and winter. Yeah, I'm Ted Ligeti. Oh. I'm a oh. two-time Olympic gold medalist and um, you know, looking forward to competing in this, this, this year's Games and yeah, just super psyched to be out there competing in ski racing. Now, what does your training regimen entail right now? Now it's crunch time for you. Yeah, right now we're training in Colorado. Uh, currently, we have our first race actually next week, and we're actually racing every single weekend on our World Cup tour right up until the Olympic Games start. So um, right now it's crunch time, and you know, competing in those World Cups is the best way to prepare for, for the Olympics. Yeah, and for the U.S. Alpine ski team, they're also out in Colorado, and... Uh, you know, everybody's just prepping. We're doing a lot of the, oh, I'm sorry. We're doing a lot of the, uh, you know, the disciplinary work that will come into play when it's race time. So um, just excited to get going. And uh, a lot of what we're talking about today is, you know, building momentum, but starting is the most important part, starting the impossible. And, uh, you know, training for the games uh, in Pyeongchang is going to be, for some people, an impossible experience, but you got to start somewhere, and I'm really excited for it. Now, I recently spoke with Tatiana McFadden, and she was telling me about the Toyota make possible and po impossible possible too. Are you guys all related to the same cause? Yeah, yeah, we're all um, Team Toyota. Uh, there are 19 athletes on the team. Uh, Toyota is the official mobility sponsor of Team USA, so. Uh, Tatiana McFadden is one of my Paralympic counterparts and someone I totally admire. She's an amazing athlete. Now, what are you guys expecting in this year's Olympic Games? Do you think it'll be, uh, what do you think it'll be like in, in, uh, in, I can't believe I can't remember the name of the country. Uh, yeah, the Olympics in Pyeongchang are going to be awesome. It's in South Korea and um, I've competed there a couple times before and we're really looking forward to it. They have great venues there, and it's going to be a lot of fun to be able to compete in, in South Korea. Now, what is the uh, Make Possible, uh, Impossible Possible program? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess the big idea is, regardless of your ability, um, it's about starting towards the impossible. So if you're sitting on the couch, you've never been an athlete, you want to lose some weight, what is your impossible and where do you start? Um, so the partnership between Toyota and Team USA makes a lot of sense because a lot of what we're doing, Ted Ligeti is the first male to win gold in giant slalom in the United States. That seems impossible, but he accomplished it at 21. Myself, I'm the first female American to win gold in the summer and winter. That seemed impossible after I broke my back in a snowboarding accident and became paralyzed. And so a lot of what we're talking about is encouraging people to figure out what their impossible is and just get started. Now, were you guys, were you into winter sports when you were little or did you, did you discover them later on? I grew up in Park City, Utah, and if you're not a skier, then you're going to be pretty bored in the wintertime there. So I was skiing since I was a little kid and started ski racing when I was about 10 years old. And I remember watching the Olympics in 1994 and watching one of my heroes, Tommy Mill, win the Olympic gold medal there. And that's when I looked at ski racing as what I really wanted to do and was lucky enough to compete on the local ski club there and, um, you know, ended up making the U.S. ski team when I was 19. And then, you know, I've been loving it ever since. It's an awesome job to be able to go out, go out there in the mountains and, and go as fast as you can. Now, what are your holiday plans? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually competing, like, every single weekend up until the game. So... Um, the holiday plans are pretty limited. <laughs> yeah, same. It's all skiing from here on out. Now, when you guys aren't practicing, what do you guys like to do for fun? I mountain bike a ton. Um, play a bunch of other sports, basketball, tennis, whatever it is. So, you know, we're always, you know, having fun out there doing other sports. Yeah, I actually just learned how to surf. So I'm, if I'm not on the mountains, I'm in the ocean. Now, what are you excited most about about this year's Olympic Games? The Olympics are just always such an awesome opportunity. It's such a big scale event. It's so cool to see all these different nations there, all these different sports. 
um, it's just the biggest scale in, in the world. It's the biggest sporting event in the world, and it's such a cool experience. And going to different countries, like going to South Korea, it's you know you get to see that culture, um, culture of the food, um, and just being able to go out there and push, push, and push your limits and go for the go for the gold. What are your favorite sports to watch? I'm a little biased towards ski racing. I can't <laughs> stop watching it from men to women's and all the events. Um, I also really enjoy uh, watching sled hockey, which is a specifically Paralympic sport. It's uh, one of the most high contact sports and it's, you know, the U.S. men have won gold the last two Paralympics. So go Team USA. Now, how does America's uh, commitment corporate America's commitment to our athletes help prepare. Yeah, it's really important for us to have sponsorships like Toyota. Uh, the U.S. Olympic team isn't funded by the government or anything like that. It's funded by individual sponsors and corporate sponsors like Toyota. And having a sponsor like Toyota who really embeds, you know, the same values that we do, whether it's, you know, constantly improving, pushing our limits is, uh, is really cool. Now, what does it take for you guys to to train? Are you are you up at the crack of dawn and working out all day? Yeah, we've been training Copper Mountain the last couple of weeks, and we're on the lift at 6:30 in the morning, and then doing dry land and whatnot in the afternoon. So it's a uh, it's a constant constant battle. Um, <laughs> well, where can people go to get more information on all this? Yeah, so uh, feel free to to uh, sign on to toyota.com to find our profiles as the Olympic and Paralympic teams represent the U.S. And then also mobilityforall.com is a great uh, resource to find out more about their mobility program and the importance of giving everybody mobile. So thank you for having us and go Team USA. Thank you.